Turo, welcome to today's video where we delve into the world of sleep apnea. This common sleep disorder is often lurking in the shadows, undiagnosed and untreated, wreaking havoc on the health and well-being of countless individuals across the globe. Sleep apnea, specifically obstructive sleep apnea, is a sleep-related breathing disorder defined by an obstruction in the upper airway. This obstruction leads to pauses in breathing during sleep and reduced blood oxygen levels. It's a stealthy, nocturnal predator, disrupting the sleep cycle and leaving a trail of symptoms that are often dismissed as mere inconveniences. However, these symptoms, 12 of which we will discuss today, could be red flags signaling that sleep apnea has made itself at home in your life. So, it's time to pull back the curtains, shine a light on this sleep disorder, and arm ourselves with knowledge. Stay tuned as we unravel the 12 signs that you may have sleep apnea. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Uh, before we dive into the signs, let's understand what sleep apnea is. Sleep apnea is a sleep-related breathing disorder, but today we're going to focus on a specific type, known as obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA for short. OSA is characterized by a blockage in the upper airway, which is the passage that connects our mouth and nose to our lungs. This blockage can vary in severity from partial to complete, but either way it's like trying to breathe through a straw that's being pinched at one end. When this blockage happens, there's a pause in breathing which might sound harmless enough, but remember, every cell in the body needs oxygen to function, and this pause can reduce the oxygen levels in the blood. Oxygen is like the fuel of the body, and without enough of it, things start to go off kilter. Now you might be wondering what causes this blockage? Well, when we sleep, our muscles relax, including those in the throat. For some, this relaxation can cause the throat to narrow or close up entirely, leading to OSA. And it's not just a one-off occurrence. These blockages and pauses in breathing can happen several times an hour, every hour, all night long. This constant cycle of interrupted sleep can lead to a host of other health issues, which underlines the importance of recognizing the signs early. This explanation is backed up by numerous studies and research, including a comprehensive review in the Journal of Clinical Sleep Medicine. Now that we have a basic understanding of sleep apnea, let's move on to the signs. The first sign of sleep apnea that we'll discuss is loud snoring. Now, snoring is something we often dismiss as a harmless, albeit annoying, part of sleeping. But when it comes to obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA, loud snoring is more than just an inconvenience. It's a sign that your breathing is being interrupted during your sleep. This happens when the muscles in your throat relax too much, causing a blockage in your upper airway. The result? A symphony of snores that can reach decibel levels higher than a normal conversation. The second sign is frequent pauses in breathing during sleep. This is where the apnea in sleep apnea comes from. Apnea means cessation of breath. In OSA, these pauses can last for a few seconds to even a minute. These pauses in breathing can happen hundreds of times in a single night, making it impossible for you to get the restful, restorative sleep your body desperately needs. The third sign is waking up gasping or choking. Imagine this, you're in a deep sleep and suddenly your body forces you awake with a gasp or a choking sound. This is your body's response to those pauses in breathing we just talked about. It's a literal wake-up call, telling you that something is not quite right. Now, it's important to note that not everyone who snores has sleep apnea, and not everyone with sleep apnea snores. But if you're experiencing these signs, the loud snoring, the pauses in breathing, and the gasping or choking upon awakening, it's time to pay attention. These signs might seem scary, but remember, knowledge is power. Understanding what's going on with your body can be the key to getting the help you need. Recognizing these signs can be your first step towards addressing sleep apnea. It's not just about improving your sleep, it's about improving your overall health and quality of life. So, let's keep the conversation going. Moving on, the fourth sign of sleep apnea is daytime sleepiness. Now, we all have those afternoons where our energy dips and we desire a quick nap. However, with sleep apnea, this daytime sleepiness is persistent and often overwhelming. This is because sleep apnea disrupts the natural sleep cycle, preventing you from reaching those deeper restorative stages of sleep. As a result, you may find yourself constantly fatigued, even after a full night's rest. Next, we have a sign that might surprise you. Waking up with a dry mouth or sore throat. When you have sleep apnea, your body struggles to take in enough air as you sleep. To compensate, you may begin to breathe through your mouth, which can cause it to dry out. Similarly, the strain on your throat muscles can lead to soreness. 
So, if you're regularly reaching for a glass of water first thing in the morning, or dealing with a persistent sore throat, sleep apnea could be the culprit. The sixth sign is morning headaches. Now, there's a multitude of reasons why you might wake up with a headache. But with sleep apnea, these headaches are typically the result of lower oxygen levels in the brain during those periods when your breathing pauses or becomes shallow. Over time, this lack of oxygen can cause you to wake up with a pounding head, another sign your body isn't getting the rest it needs. These signs might seem common, but in combination, they might point towards sleep apnea. Remember, it's not just about identifying these symptoms, but understanding their potential impact. Persistent fatigue, dry mouth, sore throat, and morning headaches can all affect your daily life, from your productivity at work to your interactions with loved ones. So, if these signs sound familiar, it's worth discussing them with a healthcare provider. Another sign to look out for is difficulties concentrating. If you've been finding it hard to focus on tasks, or if you're easily distracted, this could be a sign of sleep apnea. The frequent interruptions in your sleep caused by this condition deprive your brain of the oxygen it needs to function optimally. As a result, you might experience problems with memory, attention, and decision-making skills. It's like trying to navigate through a foggy day, where everything seems unclear and distant. Moving on to our eighth sign, we have irritability or depression. Imagine waking up each morning feeling tired even after a full night's sleep. This persistent fatigue can lead to feelings of frustration, sadness, and even depression over time. You might find yourself snapping at loved ones, losing interest in activities you once enjoyed, or feeling a general sense of hopelessness. It's not simply about feeling blue, it's a deeper emotional struggle that could indicate a serious underlying condition like sleep apnea. Finally, we come to the ninth sign, restlessness during sleep. Tossing and turning throughout the night is not just disruptive to your own sleep, but it can also affect your partner's sleep quality. This restlessness is often the body's desperate attempt to find a position that allows for easier breathing. It's like your body is running a marathon while you're trying to rest, leaving you exhausted when morning comes. These signs might be subtle, but are crucial indicators of sleep apnea. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it's essential to seek medical help. Remember, acknowledging the signs is the first step towards a healthier and more restful sleep. The tenth sign of sleep apnea is struggling to wake up in the morning. This isn't your typical grogginess from hitting the snooze button one too many times. Instead, it's a profound lethargy that persists even after a full night's rest. Now you may wonder, what does this have to do with sleep apnea? Well, when you have sleep apnea, your sleep is fragmented due to frequent waking from interrupted breathing. This prevents you from reaching the deeper restorative stages of sleep, leaving you feeling drained in the morning. Moving along to our 11th sign, high blood pressure, this might come as a surprise but there's a sneaky connection between sleep apnea and your blood pressure. Here's how it works. When you stop breathing during an apnea episode, your oxygen levels drop. Your brain responds by releasing stress hormones, which in turn raise your blood pressure. Over time, this can lead to chronic high blood pressure, a risk factor for a heart disease. Lastly, we have the 12th sign, decreased libido. This might be a touchy subject, but it's important to discuss. Sleep apnea could lead to reduced sexual desire and performance in both men and women. The reasons can be multifaceted, from the physical stress of disrupted sleep to the psychological strain of chronic fatigue. In essence, these final three signs, struggling to wake up, high blood pressure, and decreased libido, are not just standalone issues. They are interconnected pieces of the sleep apnea puzzle. Each sign is a warning from your body, urging you to take action. Now that we've discussed all 12 signs, let's talk about the importance of getting a diagnosis. Recognizing these signs is just the first step. Indeed, understanding the symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA, is vital. But it's not where the journey ends, it's where it begins. When you notice these symptoms in yourself or a loved one, it's crucial to seek medical evaluation. Why? Because the stakes are high. Untreated OSA doesn't just rob you of a good night's sleep, it can lead to an array of health concerns. We're talking about issues like high blood pressure, heart problems, type 2 diabetes, and even mental health challenges like depression. Think of it this way, your body is like a finely tuned machine. When all the parts are working as they should, the machine hums along nicely. But when there's a blockage, in this case, in your upper airway, it throws the whole system out of whack. Your blood oxygen levels drop, your heart works overtime, and your overall health can take a hit. Here's the good news. There's a world of treatment options available. 
from lifestyle changes to medical devices to surgery. Your healthcare provider can guide you to the right treatment based on your specific symptoms, overall health, and personal preferences. One of the key tools in diagnosing OSA is a sleep study. Imagine a night where your sleep is monitored to gather data about what's happening while you're in dreamland. This data helps your doctor understand exactly what's going on when you snore, gasp, or stop breathing during sleep. From there, you can work together to find the treatment that's going to work best for you. Remember, early detection and treatment of sleep apnea can greatly improve your quality of life. So don't ignore the signs. If you're struggling with sleep, reach out to a healthcare provider. With the right diagnosis and treatment, you can get back to restful nights and energized days. As we wrap up today's video, remember that sleep apnea is a common but often undiagnosed disorder. We've journeyed together through the labyrinth of its signs and symptoms, shedding light on this often overlooked condition. We started by introducing sleep apnea, a sleep-related breathing disorder characterized by a blockage in the upper airway. It's not just about snoring or feeling tired, but rather a complex web of symptoms that can affect your daily life and overall health. We then delved into the 12 signs you may have sleep apnea, from loud snoring and frequent pauses in breathing during sleep, to waking up gasping or choking. We talked about daytime sleepiness, dry mouth or sore throat upon waking, and those pesky morning headaches. We discussed the difficulties in concentrating, feelings of irritability or depression, restlessness during sleep, and the struggle to wake up in the morning. We also touched on more serious signs like high blood pressure and decreased libido. These symptoms are not to be taken lightly, as untreated sleep apnea can lead to various health concerns. We highlighted the importance of recognizing these signs and the crucial step of seeking medical help. Diagnosis often involves a sleep study, and the good news is that treatment options are available. Remember, each individual's experience with sleep apnea may differ. Men and women can experience different symptoms, and what might seem like a minor annoyance could actually be a sign of this disorder. So, keep your health in check. Listen to your body and don't underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. If you notice any of these symptoms, don't hesitate to consult a healthcare professional. If you found this video useful, leave a comment below. And remember, your health is in your hands. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video. And please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you're struggling to quit porn addiction, watch the video on your screen next. Finally, remember to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. It can be your companion and accountability partner on your journey to better health.